So, Bill, tell me about uh, Chuck Grassley yesterday and what was revealed. Okay. This isn't the big headline. The big headline comes next week with Devin Archer, who was uh, Hunter Biden's partner in the grift, in the selling influence thing. That's a much bigger headline than this. And the reason is that this Ukrainian guy who talked to the FBI informant has not handed over the recordings he says he has. Mm -hmm. Until he does that, everything that he says or Grassley says or whatever is what they call hearsay. So it doesn't really mean much. Now, in my opinion, and I'm not speculating, this is educated opinion, Joe Biden certainly knew that tens of millions of dollars was flowing into his family. He knew that. And he lied about it, that he didn't know. So that's number one. I am 100% convinced that the vice president, then vice president, knew the shakedown was going on. Whether sure. he himself derived cash, I don't know that yet. But certainly the indications are that he did. Well, his family did, and no matter how you want to launder it, you are take your family is taking money for what? For what? What what expertise do they have? Um, well, I, I think this is a huge. We've already established that the family didn't do anything for the money. That's called influence peddling. All mm -hmm. right, and uh, there are a number of statutes. I don't know the one that uh, an honest federal. Uh, Justice Department would use because they're not interested in finding out anything about this. Beck, you know that. Nothing. So, Bill, at what point does uh, America or Congress and some good Democrats, too, if there are any left, stand up and say, okay, the cocaine investigation, what, the guy was wearing gloves in the middle of the summer? Uh, the Hunter Biden investigation, the FBI, now we know, knew about the laptop and uh, failed to say anything when our national security, former national security advisors and, and uh, the FBI was telling social media that it's probably Russian disinformation. All of the things that they haven't investigated, all of the corruption that is apparent now, at what point... Or is there a point that it's too much for the Democrats? It depends on how it's framed. So I don't think, and I've told you this on your program uh, other times, that Biden's going to run for president. I do not think he's going to get there. I think he'll be gone maybe by the end of this year because of this scandal and his health problems. He's having a lot of health problems, by the way, and those are covered up as well. As for the cocaine, the Secret Service did not want to find out who put the cocaine in the locker, just as the U.S. Marshals did not want to find out who leaked the Alito memo on abortion. Both of them are under the Justice Department. Surprise! Merrick Garland! And I'm going to harken back to uh, 1969, okay, Beck, when you were, I think, 40 years old, 1969, weren't you? I'm <laughs> yeah. Yes, I was five. Yeah. I'm hearkening back. Chappaquiddick. All right? Mm -hmm. This is the anniversary. This week is the anniversary of Chappaquiddick. The Massachusetts authorities and the judge in the case knew that Senator Edward Kennedy abandoned Mary Jo Kopechny in the car went to his, uh, his hotel, slept off the drunk for 10 hours, and then reported it, and Ms. Kopecky drowned. And forensics said there was an air pocket in the car, and she survived for some hours. What is that, Beck? Mm. I believe that's involuntary manslaughter, is it not? Yes. The fix, the fix was in. The Massachusetts judge did, and the attorney general of Massachusetts did everything they could not to charge Ted Kennedy with the crime that he committed. That's what's going on right now with Biden. Exactly the same thing. 
And I was on a Cuomo have you show a- on News Nation. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to ask you, have you, in your years of reporting, have you ever seen anything close to this? The Kennedy thing was close. That was close. He and wasn't, a, he wasn't a president. No, but he was the most powerful senator on the Democratic side, and the person died. So that was, that was close. But here, what needs to happen is someone from within the Biden camp come forward just as John Dean did in Watergate. But yes. once Dean, who was counsel to President Nixon, came forward and said, yeah, he did all this, that was over. That's what has to happen here. And it could. It could absolutely happen. But I think people listening to you and me, they already know that Joe Biden as vice president was a grifter. I think they already know it 100%. So the media really didn't cover this yesterday. Media doesn't think this is a big deal, which is screaming for alternative meeting, uh, a media. Um, uh, are they, do they really just not care that, that this, this level of corruption, if everything in that report is true, and that's a big if, but if those tapes exist and all of that is true, the vice president of the United States, now the president, sold his country out. That's kind of a big yes, thing. Not only that. But the whole thing led to the impeachment of President Trump because he legitimately called Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, and said, hey, you got to look into this. And for the call, he was impeached. And your question is, do Americans care or the media, do they care? No, because it's all about Trump again. All right. It's about, oh, we can't. We can't say anything bad about Biden or the Democrats because then Trump may get reelected. That's what it's all about. It always goes back to the same thing on the left, their hatred of Donald Trump. The left in America is willing to let this country blow up to prevent Donald Trump from getting back into the White House. So, Bill, you say that you think that uh, Joe Biden will not last uh, to the end of the year, possibly wouldn't last till the end of the year. Um, Does that mean that everything is just forgotten and forgiven and we just move on with our lives? Uh, No, not exactly. So August uh, is here almost, and that means that Congress is out and you're not going to hear any more hearings, which is why next week everybody should pay attention to this Devin Archer and whatever else the Republicans in Congress present, because then you're going to have a five-week period of nothing, where the Biden forces are going to be able to regroup. But when they come back in September, you can almost count on new things emerging, and um, that's when it will accelerate. In the meantime, the Democrats are very, very worried, very worried about this financial stuff and the fact that Biden himself is really declining quickly. If any of our listeners here have elderly parents, you know what I'm talking about. You go over the side. okay? and that's what's happening to Joe Biden. The combination is devastating. So the polling will begin on the in earnest on the presidential race of 2024 in September, you will see Biden's numbers start to drop. If Trump were smart, and some days he is and some days he isn't, he would shut up for the next six Mm -hmm. weeks. I wouldn't go to that Mm -hmm. Fox News debate. He's insane if he walks into that thing. All right? Um, And I I just let it percolate and take myself out of this and let the Biden forces destroy themselves because they have no defense, Beck. They can't defend the grifting of Hunter and Jim Biden. They can't. And they can't defend his mental and physical decline. There's no defense. But so who's going to be the nominee? Who's going to go ahead? Go ahead. Once Trump gets 
involved, then the whole media shifts over to Trump. Yep. Yep. Okay? So Trump should go on a long vacation, hit golf balls in Uruguay, or whatever, could just get out and let this thing unfold. Mm -hmm. Now, Mm -hmm. as far as what the Democrats' future is, they have no future, Beck. None. Except for Michelle Obama, who right now is sitting up there in Martha's Vineyard on her lavish estate with her husband. And they're trying to figure out, do I want to get involved with this presidential race, Michelle Obama? Gosh, do you we'll really not... think that could happen, Bill? Yes, I do. She's not going to campaign. Oh, she doesn't have to campaign. She doesn't have to campaign. Okay? Oh, my so, gosh. Say Biden, say Biden is off the chart, right? Well, Kamala will certainly try. And then Gavin Newsom will try. And a few others, Amy Klobuchar. They'll get in, but none of them are going to really get enough delegates to get the nomination. So guess who shows up? Mm. Michelle Obama. All she has to do is show mm. up. At the That's it. Oh, there she is. Hooray. It's possible. Is it probable? No, not at this point. But it's possible. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you for that happy news on, on a Friday, Bill. <laughs> Uh, you, you know, know you said don't show up. F- I know um, you. You said uh, that, that Trump shouldn't show up for that Fox um, no. uh, debate, and I think you're exactly right. He should do what Joe Biden did, and that just go in the basement, just go away, go do something else, and That's be quiet for a while. Great, great advice uh, on that. Um, we have a exclusive story on Fox that I'm going to be breaking in about an hour from now. Uh, they have really lost their way. And when people see the evidence, um, and if you're watching today on Blaze TV, stay watching. Uh, if you're just listening, I'll describe it, but I'll show you the documents. Uh, there's, there is, they've just lost their way. They are not a, an ally, uh, in my opinion. And I think the, fo- the, uh, the documents will bear this out. Um, it's just not... Uh, good and there's it, it is up to the independent media uh, to tell the story. Well, first of all, it's a damn shame about FNC. It is. I, I mean, that's all I'm going to say. All right, I'm, and I'm very interested to see what you have. Uh, but it's you know that at one point was the most powerful news agency in the world, and it gave traditional Americans a voice and a fair cut. Yes. Okay? Yes. Yes. And I was proud to work there for 20 years. And I've watched, as Me you too. have, over the past six years, an unbelievable decline. Incredible. Anyway, the alternative media, people don't understand what's happening. And I'll, and I'll be brief, because Glenn Beck's concentration span is short. Um, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> One minute. One minute, Bill. One minute. Okay, here we go. The Blaze TV, BillOReilly.com, number one, we are not beholden to anyone. Every other television news operation is the corporate masters control what is said. Number two, more people are getting information from the alternative media because the corporate media is so boring. You just can't sit there. Through an hour of most of these people. How many times can you hear the phrase at the end of the day? After a hundred, <laughs> I'm watching the mess. <laughs> so. Bill O'Reilly from BillOReilly.com. You want the truth, you want it said squarely. Make sure you watch Bill. Uh, every night on his No Spin News, it's BillOReilly.com. Bill, it's great to talk to you. We'll talk to you again uh, sooner rather than later, I hope. Bill O'Reilly from BillOReilly.com.